Come along with me, Aisha, AK Lesh of Living Lesh, as I wander the world with my girls, my husband and son, and sometimes by myself. And this time, let's experience the Florida Keys. After about a two hour scenic drive from Miami, we arrived in Florida Keys, where we are staying at Hawks Cay Resort on Duck Key. This property houses a hotel along with 250 two and three bedroom villas. For our group, we stayed in two of the three bedroom villas, which was plenty of space for all of us. When we entered into the villa, we found that there was a downstairs bedroom as well as two bedrooms upstairs. The downstairs bedroom included a shared bathroom, which was the open bathroom for the area. And then we also had a very functional kitchen, a living room area, as well as a deck. Upstairs, there are two bedrooms. One is the master bedroom which had its own bathroom within the room. And then there is another bedroom that houses two beds with its own bathroom, which you can also in the upstairs um, bedrooms, walk out and be outside on the decks. If you're not looking to stay in a villa, there is a hotel which has plenty of room and gives you access to all the amenities. Now, if you're in the villa, you have access to all the amenities either way, but when you're in the hotel, you have a little bit shorter of a walk. If in the hotel, you'll find a variety of different pools. There's an adult only pool. There's also a family friendly pool. You can also go out to the seawater lagoon. There is um, an activity center for kids. There's also an area where you can go and get Starbucks. There is a marketplace which you can go and eat and find things that you need. There's also a place where you could actually do dockside programs, fishing, diving, water sparks, and even have an education-based dolphin experience right on property. Along with the vast, amazing amenities at Hawks Cay Resort, the resort also has six dining venues, including Angler and Ale, which we ate at. It's a casual marina side restaurant that serves amazing food and cocktails.
Good morning. It's first full day at Florida Keys um, here at the uh, villa at Hawks K. Um, we're actually up getting early. What we're about to go do is actually go have breakfast and then snorkel. Um, so charging the GoPro, getting ready to go snorkel, um, see the magic of underwater, um, and just kind of enjoying everything that is Florida Keys starting this morning and seeing how the day goes. The next morning, we took a short 20-minute drive down to Robbie's Marina, which is a mix of outdoor shops, food, and tarpoon feeding. For breakfast, we ate at the Hungry Tarpoon Restaurant that not only offers breakfast options, but lunch and dinner. You can sit dockside and enjoy the water, as well as see a few manatees. And one of the drinks that we actually got to drink was one of their famous Bloody Marys, which was absolutely wonderful. Definitely got tomato juice in there. With a little <laughs> bit of Tabasco. It's not bad though. Yeah, it's got good flavor. That's good flavor. I drink this and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> After we had breakfast, we actually headed out onto the dock and got us a bucket of fish to feed the tarpoons, which are fish that swim up to the Bay Area. Now out there, you'll also sometimes find some sharks, some manatees, as well as these vicious birds that are out here trying to steal all the fish. You're told not to actually feed them the fish and try to feed the tarpoons the fish, which can be quite difficult with these aggressive birds who are trying to get to you. But it was fun nonetheless and was a great experience. While we were out tarpoon feeding, we actually found out that our snorkeling excursion was getting canceled due to the bad weather, which meant that it was too windy for us to actually go out. But greatly there was an alternative to go parasailing the same day just a little later, so we elected to go back and enjoy some fun by the pool. Those at Hawks K who are not traveling with their kids, you may want to take some time and actually go to the adults only pool, which serves some great cocktails and has a very tranquil and relaxing atmosphere. On the boat, we're about to go parasailing, going up in the air. We have no clue how it's going to work out. Anyone else want to say something? Here's cross that we make it because I don't know how to swim. That's okay. I used to teach people to swim, so I have thrown us back. And also, we are back where we were feeding the tarpons earlier. So, wish us luck. Right at Robbie's Marina, you can find a variety of different water sports vendors, including Sundance Water Sports, that offers different activities such as a snorkeling tour and parasailing. We elected to go parasailing on that very windy and beautiful day, and it was such a fun and cool experience. During these trips, tips are always appreciated and keep in mind that in the Florida Keys, those who run these excursions are paid like service workers. So make sure to have cash or a virtual way of paying so you can tip these wonderful people who take you out. While in Florida Keys, also make sure to stop by Isla Morada Brewery and Distillery. This brewery and distillery is a bright yellow and teal color tasting room where you can taste a variety of different beers as well as their own gin, vodka, and dark rums where you're able to get a flight of either the beers or their cocktails which are made right on property. For dinner, we went to Murata Bay Beach Cafe, which is an outdoor Mediterranean bistro cafe, which is set right on the sand. It's such amazing food that is a blend of Caribbean and American cuisines. And if you come late at night in the evening, you can not only enjoy the amazing atmosphere and the great food, but watch the sunset and find a tranquil relaxing to the end of your trip in Florida Keys. Florida Keys was in our only destination, so we hopped in the car and drove to Key West. Make sure to check out my other video sharing our experience and time staying in Key West, Florida.